Welcome to our Power FX series. Today, we're exploring the subtraction and sign operator that uses the minus sign dash. It's simple, but incredibly versatile. You can use it to calculate differences, adjust values, and even work with dates. But it doesn't stop there. The minus sign also acts as the sign operator, letting you work with negative numbers. Let's break it down then. Imagine you have two numbers, eight and three. Using the subtraction operator, eight minus three equals five. That's pretty easy, right? At the same time, the minus sign can also represent negative values. For example, minus five in Power FX is how you define a negative number directly. In Power Apps, subtraction is perfect for things like discounts. If users enter a price and a discount amount in two text inputs, you'd write value price input dot text minus value discount input dot text. This subtracts the discount from the price to give the final total. You could even use the sign operator here to adjust values dynamically, like applying a negative adjustment to reflect a refund. Now, over in Copilot Studio, Let's say you're managing variables. You've created one called total budget. To calculate the remaining budget after expenses, you'd use total budget minus expenses. And that's the power of the minus sign. Whether you're subtracting values, working with negative numbers, or combining the two, it's an essential operator in Power FX. If this video has helped you out, Hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.